I'm sorry, the time between episode three and four universe. Yeah. Which has never been really explored in the Star Wars series. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. The piece that guy recently got picked up by World 8. Um, to my knowledge, they did pick up a few players. Suda is one of them. Marvelous Marco is another. Okay. Uh, Kairos is another player from World 8. They did pick up a few players, uh, particularly who flew at the World 8 tournaments on Thursdays because Thursday is kind of a hot spot. It's hard to have a tournament on Thursdays. Now you got Nimbus, Fire and Dice Thursday in that World 8. Three, three tournaments with big names. World 8 usually gets around 40 plus entrants. Very small venue, but very, very nice venue where they have a lot of good game equipment. If you're a collector of all games and games in general, please check out World 8 located here in California. You can check them out at world, world-8.com for all your uh, needs. I'm not going to lie, don't go to games, man. Go to World 8. But I mean, immediately with that trade, definitely and looking like he won to World 8 because he got that sure you and was looking like a premium option he got. Fans, all I wanted to know is if he got picked up by World 8 recently or not. Yes. Yeah, I didn't need I didn't need. I gave him the whole plug in, I, I didn't need I need World 8's entire life story, but okay. Started, <laughs> started back in 1989. <laughs> all right, wow. Just, okay, I guess you can destroy you and then I'll do it. Okay, but so N's going to take the first stock deck. DK Thunder, good option. He got clipped by the tail, so he's able to come, but unfortunately he missed the ledge. All right, here we go. Throws out the PK fire. Wow, he actually got out of that really quickly. Uh, I feel like this is one of those scenarios where these two players, I, I don't know if they just don't know the matchups against each other, but it could just be real how many Kens are there in the, in the known universe. Um, it, it might just be one of those things where, like, okay, yeah, if I don't know the matchup, I'm going to go blow for blow and see how that goes. <laughs> All right, gets the forward air. Good option. Immediately falling over the PK fire to set. And back off the stage. Oh, yet again. Yes, like I would that. PK Thunder. Yeah, he got clipped on the tail. Thought that he was going to have to tech, but it ended, didn't end up doing that. He just drifted down and let the air dodge kill himself instead. So pretty smart stuff. He's really good for PS. I got to go for that. Good pressure, but not enough to shield poke. PK Fire. Oh, he tried to capitalize the down, but he missed it ever so slightly. Yeah, if he like did a jump and then dare, that would have been perfect, but not quite going to be able to find it, but still. It looks like N is just having a hard time finding his way in. This PSI guy being a little bit more defensive and you those multi think, hits. Right? Those oh, multi hits are doing a especially good job because he's not parrying all of them. He's not doing the multi parry. He's trying to do single parries, expecting like the Nair, for example, but it's not quite happening. You would think, right, with these players from Texas, would Austin be one of the best players out in Texas? They're kind of be used to a little fighting Lucas, but I'm sorry, Ness right now. But hey, man, every Ness is a little bit of their own breed. Mm -hmm. They, breathe, they, they definitely brew their own tea in a different way. Up air and battle definitely not take it just yet. Ken is quite the heavy man, dude. He's got those muscles for a reason. Yeah, muscles do way more than fat. Yeah. Point check. But uh, here we go. Oh, the setup into the back throw. Will that do it? E no, nope. corner DI. You found, said it yourself, found it man. Exactly, yeah. You said it yourself. Muscles weigh more than fat, but unfortunately, tech hurts more than muscles. So, hey, man, with that untechable situation, unfortunately, N will lose a one. Yeah. So that would be it. And not quite ready for it. And PSI guy kind of uh, adjusting to the matchup and just says, okay, you know what? I'll just throw out my multi hits. I'll throw out my slight disjoints and then just keep things safe here against this Ken. Alrighty. Immediately moving on to our second game here. Oh, we're in quarters already. Okay. Nice. All right, guys, let's see. Just <laughs> immediately calls out the jump with that fair. I like it. Yeah, it looks like the, the goal of these two is just to smother the other opponent to make sure they don't set up into what they want. Oh, wow, the spot dodge call into force match. Very smart stuff from PSI guy. PK Fire is always one of those things where if you can read the defensive option immediately after, that's the scarier part rather than the actual follow-up after yeah. PK Fire. So. Oh, I like it. Just out. I mean, that's one thing that like I feel that Muffet is really, I'm sorry, PS Fire is really good at doing. He goes for forward air, and then sees his opponent's going to go for a landing, and then go for PK Fire to cover it immediately, and then follow up with the chase after that. But how does he get off with this ledge? Oh, I think that might have been a missing foot. I'm not entirely sure. Probably was trying to destroy you. Didn't quite happen there. Got the, the parry. Oh. And the multi-hit. That won't let him land with that focus attack. Very nice stuff so far. Oh, tries to make sure the escape. And he barely got clipped by the PK Thunder. And unfortunately, that down smash will do it. I mean, here for PSI guy. Feeling himself with that taunt. Yeah, that was very nice, actually. He got the immediate turnaround into the down smash very quickly. He was able to take out two stocks very quickly. 
In under a minute, actually. Yeah. For N, able to get that Shoryu with two stocks to one, I mean, he needed that. Mm -hmm. High percent, so that's what's going to kill here. And tries to come do a little bit of pressure on PSI guy. That's all we see him go from medium down to and then heavy down to. Mm -hmm. To apply that extra bit of pressure to that damage and then force him out of the shield and go for Shoryu. Alright, that grab, or throw him off. Yeah, he's trying to read these jumps. I mean, Ken does like to be in the air. He's got the meaty uh, air to air hitboxes. Mm -hmm. Cross ups there with the neutral air as well, heavy neutral air. There's a spike, and he's able to finally bring it up to one stock apiece with six. The man's got the devil's number on, and hopefully he's got the devil's luck to make sure he can't come back. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Parry? Okay, yeah, parry. I mean, I, I would have expected him to go for fair because he's not oh, getting the multi parry. And so much damage yeah, already going yeah, in! Yeah, he's got, wow. him, he's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Dang, oh, man. He got the that was luck. something. Did you see that? He just did the rock piece sign. Like, this man's crazy. He just deleted those two stocks so quickly. To Ellen, you man. That was something. All right, going back to stadium. I, I guess that small stage worked out for Ken because he can just I'm sorry, cor man, I corner just, carry so easily. I just heard the most corniest thing. Is that your boy, Chips? That was the most corniest thing I've ever heard, man. I'm what so are you sorry. talking about? I didn't hear that. <laughs> we, you will, you have to immediately delete things out of that in your mind, in your subconscious, and in your ultra subconscious. Oh man, it just stuck in my head. Anyways, let's go back to it. One one apiece. Ember's PSL guy. A really great corner carry that he had last game, and honestly, like I said earlier, it's the pressure that he's been fine if he has that guy. He's used to so much to, like I said, getting that forward air, following up with opponents, and then not only that, getting PK fire, but when the pressure's on his hand, you know, it definitely feels really tough. Oh, I respect that he went a little extra low, so you can afford the down air, but unfortunately, that's what cost him. That is so tragic. That was a true zero to death on PSI guy's part. Oh, man, that's, that, I mean, he, he rubs his shoulders off and he says, "Fine, I'll, I'll take my, st I'll lose my stocks like a big boy and then come back like I'm like a real man." Yeah, I mean, I, the big thing was that he kept a lot of patient control and then he just went for the guns there. And that's not necessarily what you have to do sometimes with those early stock situations. Sometimes you have to save them for a last stock situation. But the PK fires into the stun, or he's going to the PK baseball fire. bat. Oh no, and he got clipped by the tail, unfortunately. That's what PS Saga was doing game one, right? Using the tail of the PK thunder to make sure that N wasn't able to make that low recovery. Yeah, and I think all of a sudden the momentum has swung back into PSI guy's favor. He's getting, he's neutral exchanges so nicely, and he got the bounce into the PK Thunder. Almost got him uh, caught off guard there, but not quite. Nice, good corner carry here with Atatsu to even put extra damage. He's got him right where he wants him, and he's looking for a little bit of spacing at the ledge, trying to respect PSI like coming in with that size ball. Mm -hmm. Another landing pair, Shoryu, yep. that will do it. All of a sudden, that, this is the exact same percent he started at last time when he got that ex extremely good spike. So Ooh. we'll have to see how this goes down. Will he get another great combo to carry him off? Or will it be too little, too late? PSI guy trying to go for the yo-yo, but uh, the high recovery. Can he afford to do that one more time? Yep, he can. Of course, that sure you able to poke under the ledge. Looking for the spacing. Here's more pressure. Can he read it? And I like the fact that he jumps back for the option. Is Ken's muscles not enough? Ah, oh, so tragic. The the first stock SD, the second stock the tail clip on the jump, not able to make it back. Such early stocks lost for a character like Ken that should be living so long. And PSI guy will be moving on to winter semis after that. Very yeah. nice stuff. But just uh, you hate to see the win happen that way. 